Every week, we focus on the abundant talent and diversity of arts that can be found across Colorado. And tonight, we begin with the story about two local performing arts organizations collaborating on an original production called Aphrodite Switchboard. Wonder Band Dance has made a name for itself for always performing new works and for its commitment to the wider arts community. Chimney Choir is a music ensemble that first co-created with Wonderbound a couple of years ago. This time it's Aphrodite's Switchboard, a story of myth and love and the gods amusing themselves with mortals. Right when you feel that she doesn't need you anymore is the moment that we are both going to release off grab. What is Wonderbound? That way? First of all, we're a contemporary dance company based in ballet. We have 10 company members. They come from all over the country. Cajet. Yeah, good. Dance is our primary medium that we work in, but we work with visual artists, we work with actors, we work with poets, we work with video artists, and we work with a huge plethora of musicians, ranging from the Colorado Symphony to Chimney Choir, which we're working with now. Bum, 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 bum. Chimney Choir is a collaboration first and foremost. Um, so we're this sort of amorphous creative collective. And it's also kind of a blender because we can put everything that we find interesting into it and mix it together and see what comes out. I think of it kind of like an, an amoeba changing with whatever art we're all into at the time. Cajet. Yeah, good. We came to know Chimney Choir. They actually sent an email cold um, saying, hey, we're a local band. We'd like to, you know, talk about possibilities and we have a show coming up. Don and Garrett came to our CD release at the warehouse, which was a big production with lots of um, kind of cinematic music and some skits and stuff like that. Right from the get-go, we could tell that they were different because they have a very theatrical quality to them, but also the impeccable playing. And they scheduled a meeting with us, and the rest is history. The first time you collaborate with someone, it's, a, it's like going on a first date, and you get a lot of feeling and you don't want to overstep your bounds and you want to kind of see where they are. You got to check your ego at the door. You got to come in wide open and not be afraid to be vulnerable. And they were. And yet they had all these like crazy ideas about these narratives and storylines and, and it was the most amazing thing. And so the second time you collaborate with someone on, a, on this kind of project, you kind of can start to complete each other's sentences. And I think when you strip things down to an organic, authentic place, that you're just looking somebody in the eye, human to human, and having a conversation, a real conversation, that's when the magic happens. I'm not so they started talking about Greek mythology and Roman mythology and a lot of these myths and stories and all this stuff, and it just really kind of evolved out of that as a root, and they went and wrote music. We knew that we'd have to make music that had an arc, that made a journey, so we didn't want to make one kind of level or one dynamic or mood of music. Anyway, and da ba ya ba. As we kind of toss, toss ideas back and forth, he'll show us little bits of, of things that he's choreographed so that we can have a better understanding of where to take the music. They've written an incredible album. It's just, they keep getting better every single time and different. I've been out of touch. We're here at the Junction Box, which is Wonderbound's um, rehearsal space. And it's the first time that we have synced the music with the dance that we can actually see what they're doing. Aphrodite Switchboard uh, is kind of a uh, contemporary take on Greek myth 
and kind of trying to ask questions about our our current world and the way we enter into relationships and the, the, the ups and downs of those relationships. Thinking about the 30s and 40s and the switchboard operator, but she's a goddess and she's the goddess of love, so it's all like there, she has everything. But how that comes into play when you get into the human realm, which, you know, we're flawed. So the ballet will actually open up with the gods looking down on the world and how it's in turmoil. And the gods decide to send Aphrodite and Hermes down to sort of bring color back into this drab world. Electronic music uh, for me is, is the ultimate expression of stereo sound. Oh, hello. For this one, it's all uh, you know based around communication in the telephone. So uh, we ended up going back and sampling a lot of old telephone recordings and turning them into the little clicks and pops and kicks and snares that you hear. What you get when you collaborate with so many different artists is your product is only enhanced 10, 20, 30 fold by that collaboration because it's not just about what they bring, but a collaboration is a true marriage. Our story about the making of Aphrodite's switchboard by Wonderbound and Chimney Choir is part of an ongoing collaboration with our public media partners, Colorado Public Radio and CPT 12. To learn more about Wonderbound's commitment to its community, including offering movement classes to homeless people in their studio neighborhood, see the story by Colorado Public Television at their website, cpt12.org. Look for a special segment of Street Level. And our partners at Colorado Public Radio will be focusing on Wonderbound's collaborative efforts with the local music scene in a future episode of Open Air Live and Local on CPT12. You can see additional video from Aphrodite Switchboard and hear more from the Colorado creators and performers at CPR.org. <laughs>